Yeah, just want to kind of recap on that video I shut down before. So obviously I got the, uh, someone sent me the video over saying I'm going live tonight. You know, I've looked at the video, then obviously I've responded to it. And then it was someone in the comments said it was seven months old. I looked on the video and it was seven months old, but obviously I'd not seen that part. You know, you just look at it when you get it sent on your phone. So that's the reason I took the video down there, but <clears throat> no hard feelings to Expo or any any other channels and that, but it was seven months ago. I did jump, I was on the live seven months ago as well. So yeah, um, so that's the reason I took the video down. One thing I want to get out there again, because the video's gone down for those that didn't see the last videos, another life saved. If you can see it there, you know, I'm representing hats. It's a good friend of mine that I've known a very long time. You know, he's a bit like myself. He was involved, you know, he was affiliated. As I said before, he was on the pavement, he was out here, he was doing his thing, you know. He's been through his hardships when he was out here pushing on the pavement and he's, he's out there now trying to promote his message. You know, when, you know, people have said certain things about certain people and certain individuals, because certain individuals will say, well, why is he doing this and why is he doing that? You know, I've had it people saying about myself, but who's the best? You know, I've always said you have to practice what you preach and when you've been out here on the pavement from a young age, on the streets, you know, Doing all, doing all the things that all these youth look up to, who's best to put the advice out there is people have been there and done that, do you know what I mean? So, these guys are based in North Manchester, they're on Instagram, on the, the Instagram page is called Another Life Saved, you know, they've been working on this project for about two, three years, it's not my project, it's nothing to do with me, you know, I've just, you know, I've just tried to get the, help these guys get out there, they've, they've got a boxing gym, Thai boxing gym in North Manchester, you know, if there's anyone out there that's got um, kids in them local areas, you know, they want to get the youngsters off the streets or, or you know, they're going down the wrong path, get in touch with them on the Instagram and obviously, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll assist you. You know, they're working hard to get this um, knife crime projects out there and stuff like that, like many other organisations and projects out there, which I fully support because, like I said, I've been on both ends of it. But what I wanted to touch on today, I was going to touch on, you know, I'm not one of them, I don't do videos every 10 minutes, but when something comes into my head there, you know, I'll, I'll dwell on it and then, you know, I'll put it up and... I want to touch on karma. Now, I'm going to sum karma up in a sense where karma, I say karma is like the rain. It comes when it wants and it gets everybody. That's just the way it is. And I've always said to prevent a situation is better than trying to cure one. You know, and if this message can resonate with people, then so be it. If it can't, then it is what it is. I want it to resonate with more people growing up, you know, young young guys, because, you know, like I've touched on, you know, if I, if I can help young people to try and deter them on the path that I went down, then so be it. It is what it is. If they want to listen, they don't have to listen, you know, but it's not going to stop me from opening my mouth and voicing, you know, being a voice of an opinion when I've been there, done that, printed the T-shirt and wore it. So I'm just looking at it in a sense where when you're young and you're out here, you know, you, you're on the streets, you know, you're running up and down the streets and you're doing your thing. It's all good, mate. Everything's good. And you're dishing out karma and not realising it. You know, you're out here, if it's drugs you're doing, you're out here, you're selling drugs. And then obviously you put the threats to the people and they don't pay you the money. You you, you, even, you even do something to them if they don't pay you. You move to them or you catch up with them on the pavement and so forth. We all know how the game goes. If it's robberies you're doing, you know, you're still causing misery. You know, I've done these things. You're still out there causing that kind of misery, you know what I mean? And, you know, taking people's vehicles. Then people have to go work in them cars. Wake up in the morning, the car's gone, because you're going to do it using a robbery. You know, so, I experienced karma, and in a sense where, you know, I have to laugh, but I woke up last year, my Range Rover was gone. <laughs> you know, and what do I put that down to? I put it down to karma, do you know what I mean? It's... It's only a light situation, a karma. So obviously I was insured and everything else, but it got stuck, I woke up, the car was gone. But that's just the way it goes, because karma will always come back and bite you in the ass. But take it back, five years ago, I got involved in a situation. Now that situation was not, it wasn't really my situation. I was back in someone else's situation. You know, I was involved. And I ended up coming worse off in that situation. I'm not going to get into it just yet. You know, I saved that. But I come worse off in that situation. Which was quite unusual for me at that time to come worse off. But I thought I was on top. Now when you, you when you come worse off in a situation, 
you're quick to you're quick to turn around and point the blame on the person at the side of you. It's your fault, or it's your fault for getting me involved with that. It was not to do it, it wasn't my problem. But the reality is, it's just karma's come back to bite you in the ass until you sit back and dwell on it and think about it and think back, take it back a year, one year, one week, two weeks, ten years. You know, look at the situation that you cause, and all it is is just it's karma. It's coming back to bite you in the ass. Then two years after that situation, I, 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 we had bad karma in the family through things I believe that me and my cousins were involved in over the years. And that come and bit me in the ass and my family tenfold. So I experienced karma first hand, guys. You know what I mean? So the point what I'm getting at is that try and prevent a situation instead of trying to find a cure for it. Preventing it's always going to be the best option, the safest option. Do you know what I mean? That's, that's the best advice I can put out. And like I said, you know, I know a lot of the youngsters, they ain't really going to listen to this and resonate to this, you know, because they're still young and they're out there they're doing the thing. But all I'm going to say to the young ones is walk with a wise mind, you know what I mean? And, you know, if you can avoid any situation, just avoid it. Because before you know it, you're going to get put in a situation where your back's against the wall. And there's only two things you can do, that's fight or flight. Do you know what I mean? You don't want to be in that situation at all. You know, so that's kind of just my little thing, you know, I'm explaining. I've had issues with karma. And because I've had issues with karma, you know, I'm just trying to explain to, you know, put it out there. Like, you know, if you can avoid it, avoid it. Like I said, I'm going to say it one more time. Preventions, prevention a situation is better than trying to cure one. You know, and hopefully, like I said, anyone's out there, even these young guys, if you're in Manchester, North Manchester, you've got no one you can't, you can speak to in South Manchester. Go on Instagram. There's the logo there. Another life saved. And his name's there. His name's there, another life saved, and his name's there. You know, Dad and Robert's another life saved, and he's out here, you know, pushing the community hard. So if there's people in South Manchester, or anywhere you can't, you feel like you can't speak to, you need to speak to someone, you know, get get in touch with Dad and on another life saved on Instagram, and you know, he'll make it happen in the best way you can. You know, these guys are out here to help. So like you're saying, God bless, and obviously the explained reason why that video got, got took down. Hope everyone has a blessed evening. And just remember, guys, whatever you put out there, you're going to get back tenfold. You know, karma comes. It's like the rain, like I just stressed. God bless. Take care.